the truth is we are not in control we must give up the illusion of control you are not in control man things just happen we don't even have free will you don't decide what to like what to love what to prefer you know things just happen you can find yourself loving a person who is not right for you you can't just decide that you're not going to love them anymore just because they're not right for you if you love them you're going to find yourself loving them you don't choose who to love you don't choose what to like that's why we find ourselves addicted to things that are not good for us. That's because we don't choose what to like. A lot of people who are successful in life believe that they are successful because they took charge. Look at all the things that I did. Look at all the things that I used to do before I became successful. I became successful because I changed my habit. You know, I decided to focus on what matters. And I started to see things that um, good happening in my life. You know, things started to change for the better in my life because I started to focus on what I needed to focus on. I stopped drinking alcohol. I stopped hanging out with people who weren't helping me in any way. No. I started waking up very early in the morning every day and focus on my goals. No. You can do everything right and still get bad results because you don't have the final word. You're not in control. Like you don't know what's going to happen next. Doesn't matter how you plan your life. The worst can still happen. You can hope for the best, but the worst can still happen. We're not in control in this reality. We don't really have the power. Life is like a movie. It's like you're just watching this movie. Ever watched a very boring movie that didn't make any sense? You wish things can happen differently, but things just happen the way that they happen because the movie is just that way. You are not in control. I was going to talk about a different topic today. But as soon as I press record, it started to rain. It just started to rain, man. And I had to wait for the rain to stop. I had to stand under the tr a tree, you know, waiting for the rain to stop. That's not being in control. That's the thing about this reality. We're not in control. You know what I do when I find myself in a situation that I don't prefer? I focus on what I like about that situation that I'm in. 
Let me give you an example. Let's say I lose my job. I don't like the fact that I lost my job, right? I'm not going to be making money every month. There will be some people that I'm going to miss that I used to work with. I'm going to be bored during the day because maybe I won't really know what to do. But I won't have to wake up very early in the morning every day. That's a good thing. I won't have to wake up very early in the morning every day. I won't have to do things that I do not want to do, that I used to do at work. That's a positive thing. I won't have to find myself stressing about work. That's a positive thing. I will have enough time to do the things that I want to do. That's a positive thing. So I focus on that. Instead of focusing on what I've lost. Your relationship ends. Let's say you were dating a girl and you used to give her money every month. And just tell yourself that, well, at least I'm not going to be giving her money every month. I'm not going to be giving someone money every month. That's a positive thing. At least I won't have to stress about anyone. I'm not going to stress about what another person is doing. I'm only going to be focusing on myself. At least I won't have to fight with anyone. You focus on what's positive. That's what I do most of the time. Like when I'm find myself in a bad situation, I just focus on the positive things. You lose your home. At least you're gonna find a new place, meet new people. That helps a little, but it doesn't change the fact that we're not in control and uh, that's, that's sad. You know, the fact that we're not in control is sad because things just happen. And you can't really escape reality. You can't really escape life. You, you are in it. So when something bad happens, you are forced to face it. Even if you do avoid it, you still, it's, it has happened, it will still be on your mind. You can't switch yourself off the same way that you would, like if you're watching a bad movie, be like, you know what, let me watch another movie. Or let me just go to sleep. You can't really do that with life because you are in it. You are already in it. You are already in this reality. But it's good to realize that you're not in control. 
telling yourself that you are in control is only going to make you stress more. I am in control. I can really make things happen if I want to make things happen. You know, it doesn't work that way. It seems like things that happen just happen. If you are single and you want a partner, you think that you need to work really hard. It doesn't really work that way. The right partner for you will probably just pop out of nowhere if you are meant to be with someone. It will just pop out of, of nowhere and change your life and then break your heart in the end because you know that's that's how this reality is scripted that's how it usually <laughs> goes you meet someone and um you have a good experience with them and then in the end they break your heart and you stress but when that happens focus <laughs> focus on the positives all right focus on the fact that okay uh well at least you're not going to have to um do things that you felt you were obligated to do in a relationship you know maybe if you you had to take care of that person so you don't have to take care of them anymore maybe you had to pick them up after work every day so you won't have to do that anymore <laughs> Like there, there's always something that you like about a situation that you are in. I mean, unless it's that bad, but I've never been in a situation where there wasn't something that I like about that situation. I believe that even if you are homeless, there would still be something that you like, like the freedom. You're free. No one gives a shit about you. Like no one gives a shit about homeless people, right? So you can do anything. No one is going to give it there. You can <laughs> you can start dancing in the street. No one is even going to look at you. Like we, if homeless people are invisible to us. And you can do anything. You are free. No one gives a shit about you. No one takes you seriously. So you, you're free. Like homeless people are more free than we are. But that doesn't change the fact that the experience is horrible. But we got to try to cope, you know, we got to try to cope because we are in it. We, we are watching this movie and we can't, we can't pause it. You just can't like decide like, you know what, um, ah, the movie is too much for me right now. I'm just going to pause it. No, you can't even switch yourself off. Isn't it weird that... When you want to sleep, you just lie in your bed like this, <laughs> waiting to fall asleep. You don't have like a button to press, like, pew. like you just have to lie in your bed and just <laughs> wait because <laughs> you're not in control. You see? you're not even you don't even choose when you fall asleep. So you just wait until you fall asleep. That's that's weird, man. I, that's actually funny. Like when you really think about it, it's weird. So weird that it's actually funny. She's not in control, man. But knowing that you are not in control can be a positive thing. Than thinking that you're in control and when you're not in control. You know that... You are not way in your life, you are in your life because you've made bad decisions, because you're stupid, because you didn't work hard enough, because you didn't do the right things. Life puts you where it wanted you to be, all right? You're not in control. It just puts you where it wanted you to be. Things could have been different if life wanted things to be different. You knew what you wanted in your life and you did try to get what you wanted, but you didn't. Why?
Why were you born where you were born? Why were you raised the way that you were raised? Why do you look the way that you look? Why did you have to go through hell? You're not in control. You didn't want to go through hell. If, if you feel like you're not attractive, you didn't want to not be attractive. You just not. It's, you're not in control. If you were born in a poor family, you didn't want to be born in a poor family. You're not in control. You were never in control. It's not like there's been, like you were not in control in the beginning, but then you gained, you became conscious and, and after becoming conscious, you, you gain control. Like, nah, you're not in control. You, you, you were never in control. You're not in control and you'll never be in control. This is not, this is not your movie. This is not your story. Someone else, it's someone else's story. So that's why things just happen. You plan that you want things to happen a certain way, but they don't happen the way that you plan. Sometimes they do, but you don't have the final word. As long as the universe or this reality wants certain things to happen, they will happen. So it does happen that what this reality wants to see happen is what you actually want to see happen. So, yeah. But whatever happens is what it's supposed to happen. Whatever doesn't happen is what's not supposed to happen. So you're in a bad situation right now because you weren't supposed to be in a good situation. You're in a good situation right now because you weren't supposed to be in a bad situation. You're not in control. The biggest trick that the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he doesn't exist. This is a quote from the movie The Usual Suspect. That movie has a crazy twist. That movie has a crazy twist. Just watch it. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's a, it's one of the dopest movies that I've ever watched. Like it's dope, it's dope. Just watch it until the end. The twist in the end is will blow the twist in the end will blow your mind. The biggest trick that the devil, the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he doesn't exist. If you had the power to create a reality like this. That's going to have intelligent life. Wouldn't it be best, especially if you want to, you know, control everything that happens. Wouldn't it be best that you hide? You make it seem like things just happen randomly when you are actually in control. You just make it seem like, nah, things are just happening randomly. What if nothing is random? What if every single thing that happens is predetermined? Like, there's nothing that just happens, you know? There isn't anything that just happened on its own. Doesn't this reality seem a bit too perfect to be random i love when people say uh this this is random (laughs) if you ever looked at yourself you got two eyes you got two ears you have a brain you have veins you have blood you can breathe you are a male you are a female You have reproductive organs. You are attracted to the opposite. I mean, not everyone is attracted to the opposite. But, I mean, we are here because most of us are attracted to the opposite sex. So we reproduce. Just the fact that that's possible. You cannot say that that's happened through the process of evolution. Like, nah, man, it's like someone... 
decided that that's how things are going to be. We're not in control, man. We were never in control. The fact that the earth orbits the sun, that cannot happen randomly. Like, there will be chaos, you see. If things were happening randomly, there will be, like, real chaos. So the reason why there's, like, things seemed a bit too perfect is because nothing is actually random. Believing that everything is random will be, like, like things being random actually would be like if someone tried to win a lottery they won tried again won tried again and won over a million times in a row that would be the, that's exactly how it would be like like things actually happening randomly this is a bit too perfect to be random that's what you must realize it's this reality Everything is happening too perfectly for us to be like, it's random. It seems like there's this super intelligence that is controlling every single thing, every single thing that happens. It's so damn advanced, like a million times more advanced than AI. It's like this super intelligence, it might not even be conscious, but it's, it, it's in control. It does its job so damn well that we don't even realize that we're not in control. Because we don't feel like it's supposed to be possible that they can be this super intelligent that is controlling everything. Like, it doesn't seem possible. Like, can they be this super intelligent that sees our every move? Like, each and everything that's alive here is being controlled. Like, it's controlling every single thing. The birds that you see, everything. Every sound that you hear, that seems impossible. But knowing what's already possible now, I'd say that's not, that's not too crazy. You know, knowing what's already possible, knowing what AI can do now, that isn't too crazy. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that it will be impossible for AI to create a simulation in the future? A like hundred years from now. Do you think it will be impossible for AI to create a simulation? Looking at what it can do now. I mean, things that are humans being can never even dream of doing. AI can do. We're not in control, man. We're not in control. So, yeah, it's better to just, uh, you know, focus on the positive things that are, like, happening in your life. And not, it's not like that's going to change much. It's not like that's going to change much, but I think it's better than focusing on a negative thing. Like when a bad thing happens, focus on what's positive. Right? You lose something. Focus on what you can actually gain or what's going to change in your life that's actually going to be better. You lose a person that you are dating. Like, okay, you know what? There was this other girl that I was interested in. Uh, let me see. Let me see what's going to happen. Maybe I might win. You know. That's why they say every, every loss is an opportunity to gain. You find yourself in a different situation that you might have not uh, planned to be in. You focus on the positive things that 
I That will only happen when you are in that situation. Find yourself in a prison cell. You focus on the positive things. I know that sucks. Like, <laughs> one of my worst fears is getting locked up. You know, can you imagine? I used to tell my sister this. It's like, I'm a, one of my worst fears is, is getting locked up. Like, I can't imagine. being told by cops that i have the right to remain silent uh, and I'm, I'm being convicted of a certain crime like dude my freedom taking away i mean freedom is an illusion but that's that's too messed up i'm, a, I'm so afraid of getting locked up that when i see a police car i get scared even though i know i haven't done anything but i get scared like hey because you never know, you know what I mean? Like, each and every person here can get arrested. Like, if they wanted to arrest you, they can, like, this. There's, there's probably something that you have done that was illegal, you know? There, there has to be, like, you, if you've been here for more than 20 years, come on, there has to be something that you've done that is illegal. So, you, I mean, you might not even be aware that to some that you've done that's illegal but also things do happen you know you can get accused of a crime that you didn't commit that's my worst fear man i watch i like watching videos on youtube about uh people like people people who uh, you know who survived prison how it was like for them People talking about their first day in prison, you know. And I imagine myself in prison, first day in prison, like that would be messed up. But there was still some, there will still be some term positive about being in prison, free food. <laughs> Even though the food won't be nice, but yeah, free food free clothes like there's no pressure to dress very well you're not stressing about women um, you don't really stress much about what's happening in the outside world like you know be you have a lot of time to think i mean if you find yourself doing life you just it will just be your life like you your life will be a bit simple because when you're outside, you have to do a lot of things to survive, you know. But when you're in prison, there isn't much to do. You're just there. I'm not saying that's, pos that's a positive experience, but I'm saying it's better to just try to focus on the positives. No matter what situation you find yourself in, it's better to try to focus on the positives. Because we're not in control, man. It seems like this reality wants us to suffer. Like you, you just cannot not suffer. You know, suffering is not a bug. Suffering is a future. Something wants us to suffer. Something wants us to stress. No matter what you do, you still suffer. But maybe if you try to focus on the positive things in any situation that you find yourself in, maybe you'll suffer less. Maybe you'll stress less. It's obvious that we're not in control. It's also obvious that whatever is in control doesn't want us to be happy like happiness is what's being used to control us if only you can get this you'll be happy you get it and you're still not happy
Only if you can do this, you'll be happy. Like, we're not supposed to find real fulfillment where we don't feel the need to do anything. You just, you, you're good. And you only decide to do what you feel is truly meaningful. You, you don't do something because life, I mean, nature forces you to do it. I feel like if you don't do it, you're going to be sad. So you're like, ah, let me do it. People can't even be alone, be by themselves without being tortured by their own thoughts. Whatever is controlling this is even control your thoughts. You're alone with your thoughts and you start stressing and getting angry. You can't get a break. Start getting hurt. Yeah, look, like, you were cool, you were not feeling bad, but then you started feeling bad just because of your thoughts, nothing else. You try to sleep, you have a bad dream. You're not in control. We can't say that that is good, not being in control. We can't say that that is good. Being forced to watch a movie that we don't really like, we can't say that that is good. Humans love being in control. That's why we try to take charge. That's why we've convinced ourselves that we do have control, you know. That's why we convince ourselves that we have free will. Even if nothing was predetermined, we still wouldn't have free will. We'd still just be victims of causality. So we don't have free will at all. No matter what you believe in, even if you believe in God, there's no free will. It's God who decides at the end of the day. You might say, ah, no, if you choose to follow God, that's free will. You don't even choose to follow God. You think people who believe in a religion chose that religion like that. It was a choice. I'm choosing to believe in this religion. That's a lie. Whoever tells you that they be lying or they're not really human. <laughs> Maybe they're just a machine of some sort. Because human beings cannot choose what to believe. It doesn't work that way. You don't ch choose to believe in Jesus. It doesn't work that way. You can't. Belief is not a choice. You can't just choose that I'm going to believe in Jesus now. It doesn't work that way. You have to be convinced if you choose to believe in Jesus, even if you are not convinced, you're, you're faking it. You don't believe in Jesus, you're just faking it. Belief can be a choice. So we don't have free will. I know what you might say. Okay, if you, I choose to fake my belief, that's free will. No, it isn't. You are afraid. It's fear that's controlling you. You can never really have free will. And that makes this reality sad. Sentient life go through so much. Trying to live a fulfilling life. There's too many traps. When I was growing up, we would kill rats. When I, where I lived, there were lots of rats. We would kill them. And I would feel sorry for them. I would be like, they're just trying to survive. It's just trying to survive. Like trying to eat, trying to eat something because they're hungry. They don't have a choice. And we also don't want rats around us. So there's no middle ground here. 
Like we can't work with them. You know, things have been programmed in such a way that we can't have a relationship with these rats because they want something that um, makes life a bit harder for us and we don't want that. So they must die and they know that. So they try their best to be strategic but we end up killing them in the end. That's life. That's why I'm telling you that whatever, whatever created this reality wanted sentient life to suffer. That's why it made sure that stars never really align so that things just work out for the best for everyone. Like, it, stars can never really lie, align in a way that everyone will win, in a way that everyone will ha be happy. It's like someone has to get screwed over for someone else to be happy. Have you realized that like, things never happen in a way that works out for everyone? For me to be happy, someone else mustn't be happy. For someone else to be happy, I shouldn't be happy. You've ever realized that? That's why we constantly hating one another as people. It's because we're not in control, but we believe we are. That's why I keep on telling you, this is bad. This is a bad experience. I know we like to lie to ourselves about what's going on, but this is a horrible experience. It's not a beautiful experience. It's, it's bad. It's not the kind of experience that you would want someone else to have. There is something there's something wrong with feeling like someone else should have this experience. Like, I don't think feeling like that comes from awareness. Something is off, you know. It's just how you've been programmed. Because if and think about it, the way that you've been programmed, you've been programmed in such a way that you would reproduce even if you were stupid, even if you were unable to think clearly. Even, even the craziest people can reproduce. Like you don't have to be this super intelligent. You don't have to be Elon Musk to be able to reproduce. You just have to be a human with reproductive organs. You can reproduce. And you'd know what to do. You'd see a naked woman, you'd know what to do. You know, you know what to do. Even if, like, if we put, if we found a guy who's never seen a naked woman before, who's never even met a woman before, and she stripped in front of him, I believe we'd know exactly what to do. I'm even sure that we would feel like something like that kind of man, men who, like, would feel like something is missing. You know, a man who has never seen a woman in his life would feel like something is missing. And when he sees her, he would know that that's what was missing. The drive to reproduce is very powerful. We're supposed to make copies of ourselves. To make you suspicious, uh, the greatest pleasure that you can feel as a human, you can only feel it when you have sex and that's what leads to more people being created. That should make you suspicious. Why? Why should you feel pleasure? Why, why don't you feel pleasure when you're doing other things? Natural food doesn't even give you that much pleasure. I mean, you're supposed to get, get you're supposed to, to, to feel pleasure when you eat so that you eat and, and reproduce, right? 
but you don't even feel that much pleasure. But dude, sex. That should tell you something. It's not, it, something isn't right. That's the thing, like something isn't, something is off. We're not, we're not in control. Thank you all guys.